Welcome to Yosemite. Yosemite National Park is one of the most famous national parks in the world. With over 3 million visitors a year, Yosemite is a worldwide tourist destination with beautiful landscapes, waterfalls, rivers, and monoliths. Let's take a look at some of these beautiful sites. We'll begin with Yosemite Falls. Here we are at Yosemite Falls. It's probably the most popular waterfall in the park. Yosemite Falls is the tallest waterfall in North America, and it's the fifth highest in the world. It's actually made up of three tiers of waterfalls, the Upper Fall, the Middle Cascades, and the Lower Fall. After the water droplets plummet 739 meters, they make their way down to the Merced River. The Merced River headwaters begin at the base of the Clark Range in the Sierra Nevada Mountains. and it flows over the Nevada Fall and then over Vernal Fall. Right behind me is the Merced River, and just at the top is Vernal Falls, one of the two major waterfalls on this trail. Vernal Fall is 96 meters tall. After these falls, the river meanders through Yosemite Valley, where it passes many more beautiful sites. Rising more than 914 meters, El Capitan, also known as El Cap, is the world's largest granite monolith. A monolith is a geologic feature that consists of one massive stone or rock. El Capitan is known for its intense climbing and its steep inclines. Behind me is a map of all the different routes climbers take to get to the top. El Cap's face is steeper than 90 degrees in some spots, and it offers an adventure to professional rock climbers. You really have to understand the science of climbing in order to attempt this feat. As we move toward the eastern side of the valley, we can find the most iconic rock in all of Yosemite, Half Dome. And here we have one of the most popular attractions in the park, Half Dome. Half Dome is a granite dome formation. Scientists believe that it's the remains of a magma chamber that cooled and crystallized. Then, erosion exposed the rock and made it smooth on three sides. It rises almost 2,700 meters from the valley floor, and it's very famous for its hiking and cables that many people attempt. Behind me, we have Yosemite Valley. Across the way, you can see Half Dome, and over here is Glacier Point. Glacier Point is 980 meters high and it boasts one of the best overlooks in all of Yosemite. Scientists believe that this beautiful landscape was once carved by glaciers. The views from these overlooks, like Tunnel View, can change throughout the year, 
as melting snow can create fuller waterfalls and warmer temperatures create lush greenery throughout the valley. Another thing that can change throughout the year are the many lakes in Yosemite. Welcome to Mirror Lake. At the base of Half Dome, we can find this beautiful lake. As its name suggests, Mirror Lake acts similar to a mirror in that it reflects the scenery around it, namely Half Dome and Mount Watkins. It is a seasonal lake on the Tanaya Creek, and it's typically only in its fullest lake form in the spring and early summer. Each of these beautiful sites are only a fraction of what Yosemite offers to its visitors. In the late 1800s, a man named John Muir said, No temple made with hands can compare with Yosemite. Every rock in its wall seems to glow with life. Muir ended up inspiring the creation of Yosemite National Park which is why we can explore this beautiful place today.